Oh, if it isn't my favorite gas station attendant. How fortunate that you're working tonight. I'd hate to have to level this miserable franchise tribute to men's crimes. Yes, I will take my usual. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> of course I'm in shape, no matter what I eat. I'm constantly in battle or on the run. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, that is a funny image, I suppose. Me being a personal trainer? Fah! Every client I would have would quit after session one. No! Mid-session. What? No, you don't. You don't need a trainer, you look... Presentable. You, you look presentable, so stop with that self-loathing. You've got no reason for it. There's nothing wrong with working this kind of job at your age. I remember my retail days. Why do you think I became a villain? Now, now, one shouldn't joke about murder while on the clock. That's how they get you on those write-ups. Why do I always get the same things? There's the swift subject change I've come to know and dread. I value routine, my dear. I get up, I shower, I get dressed to impress and or intimidate. I commit some crimes, give some heroes a nervous breakdown, then come here to wind down for the evening. I, um, it's, uh, nice to see you too, I suppose. You're the only one here who's never panicked before me. You treat me all human. Odd as it is. Ah, good. I fixed the syrup imbalance. It's nice when people listen, yes? Oh, you need me back to the counter, of course. Oh, I'm fine, just, uh, not used to taking orders from anyone else. And I do remember you said you were volunteering at that animal shelter. So it's a bit funnier thinking that come here, you said to me, was meant for doggies. <laughs> just don't make it habit. Hmm? hmm? Oh, I see they moved old Smokey to above the counter now. I really don't see how an old-timey clock that survived a fire is worth hanging up. It doesn't work, it looks off, and how it's teetering, I'm guessing that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Yes, I am delightful at parties. Just ask Lord Nightmare or Psychovolt, and I'm sure they'll tell you all about my fascinating quips and spreadsheets. Maybe about the time I ripped a man's spine out and fed it back to him. <laughs> oh, how your eyes lit up at that last one. Is that why you're the only one that will serve me, dear? You have something of a taste for the macabre. <laughs> I suppose one would need to be in order to survive retail, yes. If I'd known I had telekinetic abilities at that stage of life, well, that would be a big box store plus genocide with my name on it. <laughs> and imagine it being on Black Friday. I'd watch that Christmas special. It's nice to see me open up a bit. I, uh... <clears throat> well, yes. You have a mustard stain on your shirt that you've drawn a smiley face in. Your attitude and respect are admirable, look. There are, um... Other admirable things. Things I think I might like to, um... No, study isn't the right word. Oh, this is awful. How does Gabe make it look so easy and simple? Listen, I'm, I'm sure being asked this at work is inappropriate, but I just don't know how else or when else I can... <laughs> that stupid 
fucking cloak! Stop! Okay, I, I'm stopping. There. See? I'll stop. Okay, fine. You can bandage my head up. Clean the store up with my telekinesis. Ooh, um, okay. I, um, please forgive me for that violent response. I don't. Did. Did you just call me a bad boy? Like one would a dog? <clears throat> Very well, I am a bad boy. Can you tell me how to be not that? A, a good boy? Now listen here! Mm, this isn't fair! I'm not used to not being in control, and now I don't know what to do, and I hate it, but also love it? What is happening? And I am not pouting for your information. My lip is just swollen from taking a clock to the face. There, it is fixed. Um, am um, I a good boy now? I'm a good boy. Well, I hate this. This is the worst. But I want it to happen again more than I want anything else. So, uh, can I? Please take you out for dinner. Pretty please? Yes. I'll be... <sighs> a good boy. N next Friday at 8pm. I'll pick you up here? Great. <sighs> okay, bye.